Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to a another episode. It is bright and sunny. We're starting the day in the evening. Peep the beefcake merch, by the way. July 20th drops. Hat, t-shirt, lots of other stuff. But we've got some bad news, folks. We're starting it off. I found this out like this afternoon, basically. We weren't even planning on filming. So I was out of town. It always seems like the casualties happen when I'm out of town. It's like the raccoons, the coyotes, the bobcats. They know. They know when the old beefcake's not around, they'll sling the lead out. So I was out of town uh, for a few days, came back, and, uh, well... It's not looking good. Uh, Uncle Bonzo. Banjo Bonzo. What's Chungus doing? Hey, Chungus. How you doing, Chungus? Look how big that rabbit is. It's literally the size of Bonzo. Look at that thing. I mean, it's at least 10 pounds. It's as big as Finn. He's a big Chungus. He's cuter than heck, though. Look at that guy. <laughs> but we had Uncle Banjo Bonzo. He was he was on babysitting duty uh, with the animals while I was gone. I came back in town today, like this morning, and he was here yesterday afternoon. So no one was here last night, and I came down this afternoon to kind of check on everything, make sure everything's good. And let's do the math. What do you think? At least 30 casualties? Probably. 25 and then five so okay so we're, we're thinking probably 30 animals died last night and the only things that we have of that quantity is quail so this enclosure this bullet proof but oh there's a hole right there too look at that see that one? Oh, i just saw that one too see him That's and see how it's all trampled down so bullet proof enclosure isn't bulletproof anymore folks we had all the quail they're dead all of them not a single there is not one single quail left in here and i just noticed this hole because i didn't want to investigate too much so i wanted to do the Investigating with you guys because it's interesting. But look at this. They broke the. They broke water. it. I told you. Look, they broke it. Wow. So not they didn't. Like it's still stuck here. See like, down there. See how they broke it, Austin. So like yeah. it's not like Crazy. that's still in there. They didn't like tear it up. No. They like so ripped it. They like ripped this. I don't think we could do that. I don't. How do you how do you rip chicken wire? Look at that. So they burrowed a hole. That's about the size of well, looks about to be like a raccoon. Um, we're not sure though. We're not positive. It, it very well could. I mean, it ate 25 quail. Like what is? I mean, I don't even think I could eat 25 quail. And we're talking about beefcakes here. Like, something has to have a massive stomach. So, I don't think... I know a bobcat for sure could squeeze in there. Possum, yeah, possum, raccoon, bobcat. That's the only thing that can get in there. So basically, here's a long story short. Not a single quail left in here. What's crazy is I don't even see any carcasses or bones. They're eaten whole, like completely gone. Like gonzo, gonzo, out of here. And you might be thinking, well, what if the quail got out through there? It, it could be true, but you can see, look at feathers. You can see them feathers right there. There's feathers everywhere. Is there another hole right here? Get out of here. not as big, but like you can tell like Something, something was something see how there's feathers up against yeah. see right here you know why they pinned them oh right here's another hole what how i want a refund on my chicken so so see all these feathers right here what happened is something got in and was attacking the quail and the quail were pressed against the fence trying to fly away see that's why this is all bent up it was pressing against this as it was batting clawing gnawing on the, i mean there's like barely a carcass kind of in that corner you see there's poop anyway so the quail died and we lost two ducks not a good deal the two ducks we lost were the green head the mallard the drake and that brown one so we still have like the darker with the light mix pencil walker and the all white one and the turkeys are chilling oh melly oh lucy what are you guys doing melly you need to stay down here and guard these animals this is this is crazy what are you doing little buddy all right you guys stay stay i don't want you coming in here this isn't this is investigation so we're in here bonzo found poop but then here look that's that's the old uh, that's the mallard so you can see it's green green feathers so then look here they busted this up see so the question is did they get in there and then go to there or did they get in there and then come to here and then maybe that's how they got out like that looks like an entrance hole yeah. but that looks like a exit from there to a here like they wouldn't pull it up and then go can you believe they got through that though that so that's a that'd be like a four by six yeah. look so they got four inches something got through four inches i don't think it's a bobcat i i don't i mean bobcats are pretty skinny yeah. but i don't oh there's another one look at this right here look another hole so something got through four inches so that's like four by four basically look i mean possums for sure but maybe maybe smaller raccoons so you said you found poop but like look at all these feathers right here i can't how do you say how do they eat all that quail in one in one sitting in one night they ate all of it that's, that's raccoon that's a raccoon that's turd. raccoon turd son of a the god disrespect to take a turd inside the he, dude that's what they do they always eat yeah. and then they shat i'm looking at the roof just to make sure we don't see any i don't I mean the roof honestly looks good so the roof we've got chicken wire and the paneling is there another hole so they broke it yep. so how 
How are they breaking? How does this is metal? Like, look at this. Look, even Banjo Bonzo Beefcake can't even do it. Look at that. I don't understand it. They gotta be on X Game mode. They're breaking chicken wire out here. I don't. Bite it? They, they must bite it. it. I, they gotta bite it. Yeah. So I bet it's raccoons. So yeah. we we see a raccoon turd. That's one sign. Two. It has to get through a very very small hole, which could be possum. There's no way possums ate 30 live animals last night. It just ain't. I don't believe it. Raccoons maybe. Bobcats maybe. We have yet to have any issue with bobcats though. So every single death on the farm. Every single one. Every single one has been a raccoon. Going back to Tom. Well, besides the owl. But that's that that ain't it, obviously, because we've got the owl ain't getting through here, and their owl ain't breaking through there either. So everything we've had so far has been raccoon. I'm, I'm just kind of looking. Like I said, we, we saw, I saw this, and I called these guys. We weren't even supposed to film today. This was supposed to be kind of like a day off, just kind of like catch up from being out of town, come back. And I was like, boys, we got an issue. You got to get, you got you got to, I woke both of you guys up. Yeah, I was like, were you, sleeping. were you, I was. were you though? I sure was. You sounded, you sounded sleepy. I was sleepy. He was, I called Banjo at nine. He called me back at 10. Hello? Hello? You're like, did you party too hard? I'm like, did you party last night? No. I'm like, guess what? Everything's freaking dead, Banjo. This is not a good idea. Not so bad. he came down. Yeah, he was on babysitting, dude. I blame you. Just kidding. I was actually, yeah, yeah. It's it just uh, not a good deal. I'm going to go. They were alive when you left, yes. you said. You know really? Huh? There's no eggs in here either. Oh, really? I'm sure they ate the eggs. You think too. they'd eat the eggs too? I didn't notice that. There's we had, because you didn't, I told you not to collect eggs while I was gone. So like, really? there was at least, okay. So that's a really good observation. A bobcat's not not eating eggs. There's no way, right? That's weird. Raccoons and possum. What if it's the old one too? What if you have a possum and a raccoon? They're tag teaming it. I don't I don't know what you do, but all I know is we have something that can chew through literal chicken wire. So basically this whole cage is I mean it's it's not good. Um okay so here's the question. On this one we have panel up on the outside so Yo. they can't shoot through it. So let's go look at that one because we what we need to decide is one, what is it, how to kill it, and two, how to prevent it from happening again tonight. Because obviously if a raccoon or whatever it was came in and ate 30 animals, they're gonna come back out tonight to finish them off. So we've got like two hours to set up shop and uh wow it stinks in here. Oh god, that's a mess in here. Look at all these feathers. This is about to be brutal. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh yeah, rip, rip to buddy back there. Yeah, he's dead. He's real dead. So do you see any? You see any turds? Okay, so here, look at this though. Look, that looks like something dug. Millie, was it you? Outside. Oh, there is. How did the feathers get to the outside? Then? Which one is that? The feathers though. The white. It would, it'd probably be the mallard. Would have the, the most white feathers. That's a lot of white. It's feathers. a lot of white feathers though. I wonder. If, tried getting, I wonder if that guy got attacked a little. Or the turkeys. Or the turkey. You want you Ricks get? None of them look like long. No, feathers. none of them look too bad. I'd almost wonder if it's one of those two. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's, there's a couple long feathers yeah. right there, and there's one by your boot. Wow, this is. This, I mean, because you see how many white feathers are on that. There's there's a decent yeah. amount. But so okay, so look at this. Look at that right there. Water. Look, it, the water washed it out. But you can see see how the the grass is trampled back there. So that means, and it's not here. So they came, and you can see where they're getting in. They're getting in on this other side where all the grass. So they. I'm looking for any paw prints or scratches right here it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to see so okay so we've got a predicament folks we've got one side that has a lot of broken chicken wire this side we put we put this panel so they can't they can't do it so what they do is they dug so i think the smartest thing to do is to leave them in here because that has a lot of breaches and that's that's going to be hard to fix plus i think they're used to getting in through there leave the birds in here for tonight what we're going to do is we're going to set a bunch of traps bunch of trail cameras and and do all that i think maybe take some some dirt and fill that in or, or a two by four something down there just to prevent them he, the only problem the only problem i see though is even if we keep them in here if they come through there they can just go right under there apparently so we, we i don't really know how to make like i don't know how to make sure these animals stay safe is kind of our problem i just cannot believe throw this them in with Jimothy. we could we could throw them in with old jimothy jimothy is over there jimothy he, uh, it's chungus but they call him jimothy <laughs> that's him but his name's that's his true. name's freaking big chungus. chungus big chungus anyways i've been talking forever so that's kind of the gist of it we thought this was bulletproof and what's crazy is we even put this panel up with the because rackley basically had a bobcat break his chicken wire so maybe it's a bob i don't know if it's a bobcat or not i honestly have no idea all i know is we gotta go get trapped we're gonna get them set out we're gonna get the camera set out and well we're gonna not make this whole video too sad we'll go hang out with all the other animals and then come back tomorrow and check them and then you know hopefully have something trapped or at least we kind of figure we kind of figure out what are you doing rick we at least figure out what 
you know what it is how it's getting and all that stuff so let's go get the traps all right folks well, we're gonna look at these traps look at look at the dogs look at this overgrown this is where we've been trapping like that's the old silo this is where we went mushroom hunting this is absolutely wild how much this grew up we want to pull the pigs when we, the new cooney coonies when they get bigger i want to put them down here because then they can run around so the, the odds of us finding these traps though are not that good i think there's there's one over here i'm pretty sure isn't it right here uh, oh right there see you see? oh yeah, yeah yeah i see it what are you doing lucy what are you doing melee oh yeah here's the old raccoon yeah we caught old ricky here once before that's pretty neat so we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy up we got one we're gonna set up a whole bunch of traps for these freaking critters this is crazy how much this has grown we literally could say we're in like the amazon and people be like oh hell yeah this is literally where we we've done all of our trapping and it was not like this at all all right we got four traps we're good to go all right so we made it we're going to so here's our plan we're going to keep keep the birds where they are because that side is a lot more bulletproof than this side the only problem is if animals get in this side they can get to the other side via the, the divider so what we're going to do is we're going to have a few different tactics one i have a coyote decoy it looks like a coyote we're going to stick it next to the divider to make it look like a bigger version of lucy is basically hanging out and guarding and then what we're going to do is leave this side Side, the quail side with the holes in it and put traps where the holes are so we know exactly where if the animals are going to attempt to get in for round two we know exactly where they're going to go and then we'll have a trap there for them so hopefully we get them trapped so we're going to go around and set a trap at each single hole as long as it stands up a little bit throw some food in there daddy oh yeah oh yeah we're going to put a golf ball on top so that way the mice don't get it. right here they should come up and be like oh let me sink through this hole and then they're gonna take a bite of this dog food and be like, mm, this is delicious. Bat it off and get caught. Lucy, do not eat this. Do not eat the bait, Lucy. All right, on to the next. There we go, go ahead and fill her up. Bony apple feet. Raccoons, you know what this is? A weed. Sure. All right, so here, look at this hole. That is so small. Look, my hand can barely fit in it. We'll put a trap here and see if it works. Beautiful. All right, let's go fill. There's a few, there's two more on that side. We can fill up and then we're gonna set trail cameras up. We'll wait for the trail cameras for a second. There's a few more tours we gotta do. We gotta give the big animal some hay and go hang out with Chungus. So we're putting a trap here, Lucy. We're putting a trap right here. Is that a tick? What are you doing, buddy? Why don't we just put you in here and you can just guard everything. You seem, you seem vicious enough. So we're gonna put one here. We need to get a shovel as well and we're gonna fill this in, but we can see there's a nice animal path here. We think this may be one area of entry. I mean, there could be a dozen of these things, so there might be multiple areas of entry. So we're gonna go ahead and set up. This will be the last trap we set up and we gotta try to get this hay in the feeder. If you haven't noticed, animals are pretty hungry. Try Lucy. <laughs> oh, dope. All right, done. Let's get this hay in there. We are absolute idiots, believe it or not. The old pallet works. Why would anybody get a bale spear? Give me one good reason, I'll wait. There's not one good reason. This works just fine. Kai Dog is one who told me, cause I'm like, hey, you got a bale spear I can borrow? Because last time we did it, we put the forks below and it was just kind of a pain. He's like, just put your pellet forks in it and use it as a bale spear. I'm like, that won't work. Why, why would that work? Otherwise, why, would, why wouldn't people just do that? He's like, it'll work, try it. We try it and it goes in there like freaking butter. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyways, fun fact, pellet forks also work as a bale spear. Comment down below if there's a reason why you shouldn't use them. There might be, but Llama Rhodes, what are you doing Llama? Are you hungry? Did Bonzo not feed you? Look, it. all the other animals are eating, but Llama Rhodes wants to be hand-fed by Uncle Bonzo. We're gonna move this feeder and try something new. So instead of redoing this whole fence, taking it out, driving it in there, we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it 180 and we're gonna butt it up against this fence and then just go over the fence and just throw this, basically throw the bale in there with, with the, that thing, if that makes sense. That way we don't have to undo this gate. So we'll see if it works. Like, look at her. She just does that all the time now. What are you doing, Mama? You're messing up the old footage. What are you doing, Rick?
Oh, oh. Hey, remember when you said, why would you get bale spears? I still don't understand why people buy bale spears. <laughs> I don't think that could have gone any better, folks. I mean, I've never seen a better looking bale of hay in a feeder in my life. I mean, look at that thing. That thing looks pretty neat. Yeah, I'd say, um, yeah, maybe don't unwrap it until we're a little closer next time, maybe. That'd probably help. See, we just, we wanted to make sure the animals got plenty of food, so we, let, we gave it a dangle for you, Rick. Just for you, Rick. We gave it the old dangle. How's, what's, what's Banjo Bonzo doing up there? Here. I know, I feel like this is a crustier bale than the last one. I feel like one. they don't eat the outside layer. I heard that once. Really? Yeah, you're supposed to like take it off. But... Well, I mean, we took it off. Yeah, it just, much. it's just out here. Lucy, Lucy, what are you eating? Oh, don't eat the grub. Hey, what is that? Don't eat, oh, these are fly. Oh, ants, don't eat the ants. Yeah, I mean, the old outside layers, uh, that's just giving it one of these things, so. I mean, that's actually good looking hay. This bottom stuff is not so much. Now, okay. For those of you guys that went down in the comment section or keyboard warriors for a little bit when I asked you why do you need bale spears, I retract my statement. You kind of need bale spears. The first one, it seemed like it went in super smooth, but unless you've got a bunch of weight behind it, it doesn't really work. So, anyways, with that being said, let's go play with Chungus. What up, Chungus? Melee. Be nice to Chungus. If Chungus dies, I will declare war. Right now, sorry, Quail, but. If they get in this. Oh, if they get in this, I quit. I'm gonna sit out here with a thermal. Come on, big chungus. Hey, little buddy. What are you doing, bud? Look how look how big these ears are. Big old chungus. Oh, big chungus. Yeah. Are you the best rabbit? Look at this little hole that she dug. Come here, buddy. You all right? Look at this thing. She's so soft. This is the best. Yeah, you want to grab, grab, let's grab Lucy. Or I'll, I'll walk out there and just try not to drop it. Okay. No, I won't do that. Bring Lucy in here. Look at old chungus. I like, my favorite part about chungus is a little flubber right here. She's so cute. You want to be held like a baby? You like that? All right, Lucy, we're going to do a beefcake comparison. Is the new puppy bigger or smaller than Chungus? Lucy, we're going to be hunting something similar to this this fall. All right, easy. Look. That was a good IG pick, yeah. Good job, Lucy. Don't bite. Don't bite, Chungus. Chungus has some fingernails, though, I'll tell you what. You scratched the absolute crap out of me. This thing is so cute. Look how big its freaking ears are. You be nice. You be nice. Be nice to Chungus. Chungus doesn't care. No, Chungus is chilling. All right, Chungus. I'll let you down, buddy. You nope. all right? Nope. Yep, all right. Hey, let me put your little hut down. Chungus is going back in her hut. She likes her little hut. Good old Chungus. How you doing, Lucy? That was a good dog. You got more ticks and stuff? What about that other ear? I think there's a tick there. Was yeah, it really? Back, right there. Oh, you son of a gun. You guys know what this means. Blinded by the light. Rep to that guy. How you doing, Lucy? You got another one? No, nope, you got like, oh, Chungus. Chungus, what are you doing? Oh, Chungus on X game. Melee. Look at Chungus. That's his That's his pooping spot. Both corners. He's got two corners to poop in. That's his food. And he's got food here. Chungus, look at, look at that's the cutest Chungus you ever seen. Life. Chungus lives her best life. I keep saying his, but it's her. Is there water right there? Oh, whoa. I don't, I'm move. Millie, move. Millie. Millie. <laughs> hey, you want to get, you want to get rained on? Scoot. Hey, come on. Go, go. I'm wet. Why did that happen? All right, folks, so we've got... Why? Hey, calm down over there, buddy. So we've got trail camera one, two, three, four, and five. So what we decided was, this is where we're pretty confident they could get in. Oh, we forgot to fill this, boys. We need we need to fill this with some dirt so they don't they, so they don't get in. So we're gonna fill this in with dirt. We forgot to do that. But we got trap there, camera pointing to it, camera pointing to it. Why is Tiffany on X game mode? Why is she running? We've got one right front and center because there's kind of some weaker spots here. Nothing that they can really get into, but they could, the door basically is the only thing that's not reinforced with the cattle panel. So we want to put basically a camera here in case someone walks in front. This camera is getting this shot here. That camera's getting that shot there. So 
out of five cameras. And I don't know. Oh, and forgot best part. We've got the old coyote decoy. Look at that guy. So he's hanging out right where they look like they could maybe get in. So if they get in through here, maybe the coyote decoy will scare them. I'm not really sure. Anyways, we're gonna grab some shovels. We're gonna fill that little spot in with some dirt and come back tomorrow morning. See if we got anything in the traps. See if we're missing any more birds. Rip to the two ducks and the freaking 30 quail. Didn't name you guys, but rip. Hopefully we wake up tomorrow morning with no more casualties. You guys stay tuned. Alrighty folks, it is the next morning. We are ready to check on them traps, check them cameras, and hopefully we caught the old son of a gun that's been wiping out our population of birds. Oh, one trail camera down, that's neat. Uh, I see all the birds though. Oh, I see them all, they're all alive. They're all Thank alive. You. Do we have anything oh. in the truck? Oh, we got one. Did he mess that hole up? Is he dead? He's dead, isn't he? He might be sleeping. Is that the only one? Is that the only one? We got one, we got one. Give me that gun. Oh yeah. Let's go check Buddy out here. What's he doing? Oh yeah. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He ain't doing too hot though. What are you doing, Rick? Dude, he messed up our entire fence. Yes, he's inside. He busted through. Dude, they can chew through chicken wire. He chewed through both sides completely. So he was wrapped up trying to get out. He can chew through chicken wire. Since when can the? Oh, we got two. There's one right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got two. Melee, stay. Oh my gosh. We got two. All right. Well, we got one guy here. Look at. He completely destroyed this and then look at this guy right here what up rick yeah that's what you get son you trying to eat our boys you ate all the quail look at that can you believe that in one night i don't see any more over there two in one night <sighs> these son of a guns eating our quail eating our ducks they didn't even care that we had the coyote decoy out here that's what you get old boy time to say adios Blinded by the light. All right, folks. Well, we got we took care of those guys. Um, we've got a slight problem though. Uh, well, <laughs> a couple big problems. One, we put the traps really close to the enclosure, allowing the raccoons to destroy it. I knew it would happen, but I knew we had to put the traps close. And so right here, look, this is proof that raccoons can chew through chicken wire. This was this was just like this. They can bite it and then tear through it, just like this. Look, they can tear big holes in there. Believe it or not. Over here, where this other guy was, same thing. Boom, and then look tore all that up right there. There's a hole on the other side. So so basically, there's a bunch of holes that compromise the safety and security of this. And then there's also a bunch of holes that lead to there. So I do not feel, although we, we, you know, we didn't have any casualties last night. Obviously, we would have if we would have not set the traps out. So luckily, we did. But I'm not confident that our animals are going to be safe in here until we can make some solid repairs. And by repairs, I mean this chicken wire ain't in. You got to get some heavier duty stuff and pretty much line. And what's crazy is they can get through a four by six so you can't even just get more panels you're gonna have to get a heavier duty chicken wire some type of wire fencing mesh of some kind um, because even a four by six doesn't work so my plan these guys are actually pretty close to butcher size not that that really has anything to do with it but what we're thinking is basically last week week and a half ago we started throwing all the chickens rick rick quit beating up on uncle banjo quit rick we threw all the chickens over here um with all the other animals and since then we've had no casualty they've been safe i don't think the raccoons are ballsy enough to jump in here when you've got mean mug and karen everybody knows mean mug and karen hi yeah how you doing how you doing, Dale? And then Carol, and then Llama. Like, there's no way a raccoon's gonna mess with Llama Rose. Look at that. Ain't nobody messing with Llama Rose. So, what we're thinking is for at least the next couple days, um, until we can go to the store and get some chicken wire and kind of redo the enclosure or buy them. Maybe buy them on, like, Chunguses or something that's a little bit more bulletproof. Because, obviously, they're targeted right now. Like, there's there's a there's a thirst and an, and an appetite for these birds right now. I want to make sure they're safe. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab them, and we're going to throw them on that side and hope that they stay. We'll bring the duck pool over there and give that to the duck so the ducks will basically have that. And they'll just hang out with the, the chickens. I mean, they can just run around. They can scratch. We'll obviously, we'll feed them, give them water. Um, this is where they've known their entire life so it's gonna be interesting I mean look at those guys they're running around like little freaking pterodactyls flapping around and stuff they can fly and maybe they'll just fly up in this tree and if they do that then I don't think we're gonna have any casualties but I would say I think they're gonna be safer over here than they are in here because right now they're basically sitting ducks in here because there's holes everywhere over there they've got I mean that's a whole army a whole mo uh, this huh. guy what you, did there. you see what I, I see? Yeah. I'm funny. I know. Funny. I know. I'm funny. But there's a whole army. I mean, you got Tiffany and Felicia. If you're not scared of those guys, you guys are nuts. So they have a whole army of people to protect them. Like, see, you guys can see the rooster. He's hanging out. Look, rooster hasn't died yet. Look at all the chickens. No raccoons are messing with them. So, anyways, with that being said, we're going to run in there and try to wrangle up some birds, chuck them to the other side. That'll you be ready? fun. You ready? Those turkeys are not going to be happy. <laughs> nah, you can grab them. You got them. I'll, I'll grab a duck first. You grab a turkey too, I guess. Oh, yeah, I got this. Oh, yeah, and after this, we'll review the trail cam footage in case there's something cool. But we want to get these birds safe first. That's priority number one. 
Hey, easy. Hey, easy. Hey, hey, easy. Hey, hey, don't worry, we got you. Hey, don't worry. Hey, hey, these guys are your friends. Hey, sheep, be nice to the turkey. Don't jump out. You got him, Banjo? No, I'm not yet. No, he hasn't got a single one. Come on, turkey, you got it. Rick, be nice to the turkey, Rick. Be nice, remember Tom? Rip. Remember Tom, Rick? Tom was a beast. He's kind of like Tom, not quite as big. Hi, huh, buddy. <laughs> Dude, these turkeys are nice, look at them. Oh yeah, now you got it. Sheep, be nice to the turkeys. Hey, you be nice to the turkeys. Look at them, they're just checking, they're just checking them out. This is kind of funny. Dale, what do you think about your new neighbor, Dale? You got a new roommate, Dale. It's turkey. Hey, sheep, sheep, quit harassing the turkey. Banjo's got one, hang on. Oh, he's chilling. Get him, Dale. Come on, turkey. He got it. Hey, sheep. Calm down, sheep. It's just a turkey, sheep. I don't think they hate it. No, they're chilling. Hey, sheep. Hey. Is that Josh? Josh, you stop that right now. Hey, oh, sheep. Hey. Uh... hey. No, hey. She, she literally just. Hey, can you not? Hey, no. Just literally rammed the absolute crap out of that turkey. Look at them, though. They're running around. They're killing it. All right. the, guineas? Uh... the guineas are going off. We might move the guineas over here, too, and just have like a whole bird sanctuary. That sound, it's a warning sound. They would let everybody else know. Llama. What do you think, Llama? Look at that teeth, Llama. Let me see them teeth, Llama. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that underbite. You're cute, Llama. Now we gotta try to get these ducks out of here. I got one. Carol! You got your new friend, Carol. Hey, easy. You'll be alright. No. Hey, you gotta stay. Hey, you gotta stay. Hey. You'll be alright. Yeah, go, go run around down there. Sheep! Sheep! Dude, that sheep is beating everybody's ass right now for no reason. Just stomped on that duck. Sheep! Be nice to the duck! Yo, you shut up! I got one. Hey, little guy. There you go. You got it. Look at all the ducks. They're like, hey, what up, Rick? Dude, you got them. <laughs> what up, you little pencil walker? Pencil walker. English is tough. Go ahead and give her, give her a toss. See if she, see if she can fly. Oh, there you go. Look at all the birds. They're hanging out. Are we getting the guinea or not? You want to throw the guineas in? I don't here? know. I mean, can guineas fly? No. I don't think guineas like, can fly. They can like maybe coast. Like turkeys. Kind of like, yeah, turkeys are like quail. That is definitely a male. See him fluffed up? That's big, big chungus. He's heavy. That's a, that's a male. Look at him all fluffed up. You guys want some food or what? These guys are pissed because we haven't given them. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Did you? Dale just jumped in. He just tried to jump in his lap. Dale. Dale, what the Come hell, here. Dale? All right, let me feed these guys real quick. There you go. See, look at the chickens. No. See, the chickens are already dialed on there. So if you're wondering about food, basically these, these birds will pick up the scraps of this because these animals, they throw a bunch on the ground. They can, like right now they're scratching around in the poop. The turkeys love grass. Like basically everything's just going to eat everything at that point. Like we're not going to have big feeders and stuff for the birds and they should be totally fine. How's it going, Llama? Enjoying life, Llama Roads? What'd you think about that new hay last night? You like that hay? It's a good looking bale of hay, Llama. Let's move their kiddie pool so that way the ducks kind of have a little sense of home. And then we're going to go review the footage and see if any like bobcats or cows or anything crazy happened last night. All right, folks, so we made a game time to. Oh, look at Big Chungus, by the way. Look at that. Oh, Rip. Right, he knew I was talking about. We, we made a decision. We're going to try to consolidate it. most of our stuff. Pigs need to stay. Quail need to stay. Chungus needs to stay. But birds, we're, we're mixing all the birds with all the big animals. And I like it so far. I think it's cool seeing that many animals in one area um, and letting them kind of like rip around and do bird things. Um, and then as soon as we're done with the huge fence, then they're going to have all the pasture they want. They can scratch. It'll be good. It'll be good for everybody. Um, but we're going to move. The, these guineas have been here for like, what, two weeks now at least? Um, so I think they understand. Hey, this is their home. Hey, this is where we feed them. They get water. And especially they can interact with the other chickens the other ducks the turkeys i think they'll figure out kind of the system of everything lucy plus lucy just harasses them all day long and so if we move them over there they can't get harassed as much so let's try to get these guineas moved over to the big animal side hey hey easy e easy 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 better than i thought look at them they're running around all right we'll get your friends don't worry we're gonna have so many there's gonna be so many animals over here it's gonna be great hey you're gonna join your friend don't worry you got it oh oh they can fly, Bonzo. It's in the tree. That guinea is in the tree. He just looked up and just yeeted. Hopefully they don't fly away. That's sick. All right, let's go get this other guy. He's freaking out. You guys are going to be nice and safe over here, I promise. Go join your friend up in the tree. See your buddy up in the tree? See him? Up in the tree. To the weast. 
Oh, he came down. All right, we got everything done. Bonzo, he filled up the pool over there. Let's go check the trail cams. Here's SD card number one, folks. This should be video. Ooh. Oh, is it all in AVI? Does AVI work? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, dope. Oh, hey turkeys. Are chilling. Oh, they're bowling. All right, so let's go ahead. So this was the front shot, except this camera fell over at some point. So here's us. Oh, oh, there's some night shots. Oh. It's just the turkeys though. Yeah, it's just bowling. Yeah, so as you can see, it's just, so our raccoons were caught on the right side and then it fell over this morning. That's a good angle. That was a good angle. Dang it. I mean, the raccoons weren't really over there. So SD number one, nothing. Big shocker. SD number two. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's, that's, that's this morning. That is right there. Yeah, it's 9.13. So, oh, you think this time is right? I mean, the date looks pretty close. 8 p.m.? That was us setting up, I bet, right? Yep. So nothing. Yep. Oh, dude, so I nothing. love trail cam. Have I ever expressed how much I love trail cam? I mean, I think you should make your own. We should come out with our own trail cameras because you know what? I would have to probably put four dollars and sixty-eight cents into development, and they'd be better than these pieces of shit because these don't do anything, and these cost me a thousand dollars. Oh, trail cameras suck. Sorry, I'm sorry. They just suck. All of them. They're brutal. <laughs> you're shit. <laughs> you're kid. You're actually joking. Zero. You're ca uh, we w the thing is we walked in ev in front of every single camera, so so it should have every single one of these should have something. We're doing great. No, this is good. This is good. If anyone wants these trail cameras, they'll be uh, located in the nearest Walmart dumpster. Throw these suckers out so I quit wasting my time on these videos. Oh, sick! Another one bites the dust. Is that all of them? Nope, we got one more. And in fact, these are like forty dollars, and so far these have worked way better than these BS expensive cellular cams that can't freaking see anything. All right, one more. You guys, you, have I ever told you how much I love trail cameras? Video. Oh, it got Rick. Okay, so here's us leaving. Interesting. So do you, the question is, so he wandered, around front. he wandered around front. So this was the front corner. So that back corner is where we caught one and then back there is where we caught another one. So he was looking for a hole. See, that's why we put the traps by the holes because he was looking for a hole. Oh, dude, let me see that sniffing go back one. He's, he's sniffing it. He might've been eating that food around it. He, he, was. Was. he was, look at, yep. he's eating that dog food. So then he just, he needs to knock the golf ball off and then he sees more, but sometimes they don't knock it off. And the reason we put the golf balls to prevent mice. See, what's crazy is literally $40 trail cameras outperform these other ones all day long. And it looks good too. And it, yeah, the quality's great. And then it's the, look at me. So I'm guessing that guy was Went the one in there. the corner. Cause did he go to the one that didn't have a golf ball or did he knock the golf ball? He knocked the golf ball. He knocked it off, he knocked it off. okay. Yeah. So they, he just like made his rounds munching mm -hmm. and then got greedy and ate the ate out of the backside one. So look at him, he's just, that's look so at weird. their little paws. Yeah, Isn't that weird? He's so just weird. like. Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, it is hot in there. I'm like freaking, I'm soaked in sweat. I don't even know why. It's not even that hot. It's just no breeze in there. But there you have it. All those trail cameras, they suck. Sorry, I just kind of go off on a rant. It's just, it's frustrating spending a bunch of money and then they just don't, they don't work. And then you, you buy these cheap ones and they, the cheap ones work. So I should just keep buying the cheap ones. The problem is the cheap ones eventually break. But anyways, that's pretty much all I've got. I mean, I know it's kind of a long video, just a bunch of stuff going on, the animals. It's always a battle, always declaring war. We, we refilled all those traps, made sure they're, they're chilling, so we should not hopefully have any more issues with the raccoons now that everything is with the big animals. We're relying on Llama Rhodes and Felicia and Tiffany and Rick and Dale to protect, and especially Steve. Steve's, he's, the, he's the badass out of the group. We gotta, we're got we relying on Steve to protect all the birds. It's something we should have done a long time ago. I didn't think it would work because of the feed situation. I didn't want to have those big hanging feeders and then have Rick get into them because he likes eating chicken food. That's probably not good for him. But since we're, we feed them all stock and there's plenty of space, um, especially when we put that, that fence in. Like I said, we're putting a huge fence in around where it'll literally fence in like an acre and then all the animals can run through there and there'll be plenty of food for them. So I'm hoping that the rooster and the guineas don't fight too much. We saw them, they, they kinda, they're just kind of certain they're dominance, but they, you know, they're not fighting to the death or nothing. They kind of separated, we kind of went their way. I think it'll be okay. They may just not like each other. So we're going to attempt to keep all the birds in one area. If for some reason you guys see a huge issue with what we did today, putting all the ducks, turkeys, guineas, chickens in there. If you see any major issues, like, hey, you better watch out for this, this could happen, blah, blah, blah. Let me know in the comment section down below. But for the most part, I think we'll probably be okay. I'm not too worried. I feel safer with all the birds in there than I did in our predator-proof enclosure because obviously 
raccoons can chew through chicken wire. Fun fact for the day. These things are freaking beasts out here. But we've uh, we got two more down on the ground, so we shouldn't hopefully have any more issues in the future. But comment down below what you guys think about, it. like I said, our, our situation, putting them all over there, if it's a good idea, bad idea. But remember, beefcake merch like this shirt right here. This is Carol. Look at Carol on there. A little beefcake action. July 20th coming. We're not sure what we're going to do with the inventory. It might be limited runs on stuff, so just mark it in your calendar, July 20th. And you can get 15% off by using promo code FLAIR on GoogleSquad.com. Either now or if you want to wait, you can. Either way. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you. And peace. I'm wet.